with these bullet punch lines. Oh, go a ghost fast, nigga, when it's crunch time. What it is, what it do, folks, it is your boy, the Mikey J, in the mother effing place to be, and uh, we're back. Uh, welcome back to the second episode of the You Want to Be a Poketuber series. Um, today we are going to delve into OBS, the recording program that I use to record uh, pretty much everything that I do before I plop it down into Vegas. It, um, it's, it's really, it's a really great tool. It's a multi-purpose tool. You can live stream with it on the internet and you can also local record to your hard drive. So that is a great asset to any, anybody who wants to do YouTube. Or, I mean, it doesn't even have to be Pokemon. But today we're actually going to show you how to set up OBS and we are going to show you how to set up, um, Visual Boy Advance with OBS so you can actually record your gameplay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it started. I've got OBS already open. Um, I am going to full screen it like that. Okay, so on the top left hand corner, you're going to, um, the first thing you want to do is set it up for local recording. So you want to hit settings, go down to settings, and you're going to hit um, broadcast settings. So, and you have mode right here. Um, you want to set, there's two options. You can set it to live stream and you can set it to file output only. You want to set it to file output only because you're not trying to live stream on the internet. You're just saving it to a specific spot on your hard drive. Um, so basically you hit browse right here and you can set the folder up and you want to uh, basically just leave the file name, um, uh, name it pretty much whatever the recording is going to be. So you can do that each and every time or you can just leave it one and it'll make its own file name for you. Um, under the encoding section you want to go back up to encoding and you can say yeah. Um, these settings right here are the settings that you really want to use. So you want to have encoder click to x264 you want to use um, tick C, uh, use CBR and tick enable CBR padding and for your max bitrate, that's that's the thing everybody gets hung up on. Your max bitrate is pretty much your quality on on how sharp it looks, how how good it records. Um, I've got mine set to thirty thousand. That's pretty much the. I could probably go a little higher without you know having a a, a large a really large file size. Um, it's pretty much the basics of having a real smooth nice 720p um, file output so that's that's pretty much what you want to do um, like a 20 a 20 minute video for me would turn out to be probably about 200 300 megabytes so that's 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 a ballpark figure of how 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 big the files are with uh, with OBS um, under video this is where you set your resolution. Um, you can set the base resolution to the resolution of your monitor like I have it now, but right now I've got it downscaled to 720. So basically, I can record in 1080p, but the recording will automatically downscale it to 720p, if that makes any kind of sense. I'm not sure, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> so basically, it's taking the it's just it's automatically uh, downscaling it that's pretty much what it is um, the audio you want to select your speakers to whatever your speakers are mine are the, my turtle beaches um, microphone is my producer USB um, if you have a snowball it'll it should show up and you know anything whatever you use for your microphone it should show up under this little drop down list um, so we can go to OK we can exit out of that now this right here is where you want to um, I'm gonna delete this real quick All right. this is where you really want to pay attention to okay so if you got two boxes down here you've got your scenes and you've got your sources your scenes are what makes um, is what you know the entire screen um, pop up so I'm gonna give you an example right now on the right side here I'm gonna hit preview stream so that's what's basically gonna pop up here so I've got my layout for my Wi-Fi battles I got my layout for um, showdown and PC gaming whatever oh my desktop good lord 
let's go back to the Wi-Fi battles. This is my layout for Wi-Fi battles. So if I was streaming Wi-Fi battles, I would have my capture card open. It would be showing everything, you know, on, on the capture card screen. Um, to add a new one, just inside the inside the box with scenes, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to add scene, and then you can name it whatever. I'm gonna name it GBA demo. All right. I'm gonna hit OK. So now it comes up with a brand new scene. Now on the right side is your sources box. So basically, this is what what exactly to put under your um what's what's going on the screen. So right now I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to add, and I'm gonna go to window capture. Now I already have Visual Boy Advance open, and you probably want to have that open as well. Um, I'm gonna go to window capture and hit OK. <clears throat> so now. Um, I can have this drop down box open and it basically just picks up everything that's open and I don't know why it's not picking up um, Visual Boy Advance. Okay. All right, refresh. There it is. Okay. So hit refresh. Everything's all good. It just didn't, didn't recognize that the window was open. Now it does. So um, this box here, 99 per... 99% of the time, you guys are going to want to record just the inner window. You guys don't want to, you know, hit the file button and all that kind of stuff. You're going to want to untick capture mouse cursor. That's always ticked um, by default. Don't know why. It's pretty annoying. Um, and then you're just going to hit OK. And this box right here is going to pop up on the screen. So what you want to do, you'll notice that um, it's small. <laughs> it's, it's out of the way. So what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to hit edit scene right here up underneath the microphone. Uh, click that and then there's a box that's going to pop up. Now I don't know what's up with this because obviously it's not the size of, of the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here and I am going to go to position size, go to reset size. All right. Still didn't do it. Not bad, Mikey. Not bad at all. All right. Um, and the thing with uh, with with OBS is, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna downscale that real quick. Um, thing with OBS is, when you um, have a window capture open, if you put anything in front of it like that, you see how it does that. It, it Treats it like a screen region, and my computer just died. I don't know what just happened to it. Okay, where did? Okay, there it is, right there. But this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to close out Visual Boy Advance real quick, and I'm going to take this away. Let's just start over that <laughs> whole process. All right, we're going to add. No, we're going to open up Visual Boy Advance. Boom. There we go with that. All right. And we are going to add window capture. Yep, and Visual Boy Advance is already there. Untick the mouse capture. Hit OK. Now it's just regular size. Sometimes you have to do it like that. Um, I'm going to open up my ROM. Uh, if you guys don't know what a ROM is, it is the actual game that you download from specific websites that I cannot provide, but I can provide a link to Visual Boy Advance, which will be down in the description if you guys don't have it already. Um, Google is your best friend when you're searching for ROMs, so just search whatever ROM you want. Be careful of viruses though. So now you guys see that it's on the screen right here. Um, you're going to want to um, you see the red box and how I can resize it like this. Alright, so if I wanted to, you see how it's not going the full length of the screen? The, the way to remedy that is to hold left shift. If you hold left shift, now you unlock this, the, um, the screen ratio. So you can actually bring it to that 720 um, fitting. So now that I've done that, I can go back to Visual Boy Advance and you see that um, the game is playing large on the screen. Uh, I can move this actually up there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and now you can actually see a preview of what is going on on the screen. So now, since I hit preview, it's not actually recording. So to change that, I'm going to go to stop preview. Everything still saves. You don't have to 
do anything and I'm gonna go to start recording and this is just going to record a little tidbit of you know what's what's going on so now it is fully recording I'm gonna hit go back to Visual Boy Advance hit enter and start the game blah -de blah -de blah yep I'm hitting back or I'm hitting go okay alright so pretty much this is recording and mp4 and it's pretty much really 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 good quality and um, that is it um, now you guys saw that I had layovers and overlays and all that kind of stuff um, we can actually get into that um, next on the next episode and how to you know size everything for uh, overlay and make an overlay how you know the everybody else does it um, I'm gonna stop this recording and I'm actually going to go and replay it just to see you know how how, how, did, how it did how it did it so uh, record uh, record REC 07 so the file size was 190 megabytes for like a five minute video or something like so that now it is fully recording and there's my my <laughs> my voice Back to visual boy Advance. hit enter and start the game blah -de -blah -de -blah. so and there it is so and you can actually I mean if you guys want to without putting it in um, a program called like Sony Vegas or anything like that you can set up your your um, overlay and just record straight from OBS and just put it on YouTube I mean really no you don't you don't even have to uh, edit anything out. Me, I personally like to do my fades and my fade in, my fade out. I put my intro to it and all that kind of stuff. But that's just me. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's whatever you want to do. Do what you got to do. Um, but that's pretty much it on this episode. I hope this helped you guys out tremendously. I really appreciate you guys stopping by the channel, checking out my tutorials, and hopefully this made you a better YouTuber. Um, hopefully you learned something new today. And I've got a lot of tricks and you know stuff to make um, OBS you know work for you. So this isn't the end of the OBS uh, tutorials. It's just it's just the beginning. So um, you guys keep sticking around, and I will keep bringing these tutorials to you. And hopefully help you out, help out your channel, and all that kind of stuff. I really appreciate you guys' support on this, and uh, we will see you guys next time. I think the next time I'll be uploading is um, Thursday. Yep, Mondays and Thursdays is when um, I upload these tutorials. So stay tuned. Um, it's been your boy, the Mikey J, in the mother effing place to be. And as always, guys, peace.